While the details of human history in the South Pacific remain shrouded in mystery, it's widely believed that the first Polynesian settlements were in Fiji. Of the more than 320 islands in the Fijian archipelago, only a third are inhabited today. The two largest islands are Viti Levu and Vanua Levu. The third largest is Tabayuni. Lush forests of tall timber crown the highlands here, and the alluvial plains of volcanic soil and limestone create the fertile land for which the South Sea Islands are legendary. The interior of Fiji is no exception. The town of Nandi on the southwest coast is the transportation hub for much of the South Pacific. Once a sleepy agricultural outpost, today Nandi is a growing commercial center and home to a colorful, bustling community. The Fijian population is almost equally divided between native Fijians of Melanesian descent and Indians who were originally brought to Fiji to work in the cane fields. In Nandi's lively marketplace, farmers display exotic fruits and farm fresh vegetables from the nearby Singatoka Valley. The town of Singatoka, located near the mouth of the Singatoka River, is the vegetable basket of the island. Here, rich soils, abundant water, and favorable climate combine to produce enough fresh vegetables to supply most of the island's needs. From the Singatoka Valley, the Queen's Road, Viti Levu's only paved thoroughfare, continues along the southern shore of the island, past the coral coast, on its way to the capital city of Suva. The coral coast is Fiji's most famous holiday retreat. Here, miles of sandy beaches and gentle ocean waters offer a luxurious playground to visitors from around the world. While many spend their days soaking up the sun, the more adventurous head into the rugged interior aboard four-wheel drive buses or on horseback. The plant kingdom has found Fiji a fertile home, and in turn, the greenery has lured those winged creatures that make the tropics a paradise. <laughs> 